Okay, so let's pop open a new terminal here. This is the one we're going to run Ansible in. Um, the white one here is actually, you know, still in the switch. So I'm going to show you a couple things here. We're going to do a show run. I'll verify that. Uh, okay, so change directory to Ansible. Okay, so you notice the files I have in here. This is all going to make sense to you guys here as we go on. Um, so you have the Ansible config file, the hosts file. Uh, the secrets file and the test play file. Uh, so secrets is where we actually stored uh, the login information like username and password. We're going to call on that uh, in our playbook. And then test play is actually the uh, playbook we're going to run. So yeah, so what I'm going to do here is show run on this .15 switch. And I just want you guys to check out that um, access list. There's no access list set up right now. Uh, so one of the things that we're going to do in this playbook is add ac the access list test. Uh, test is the name of it. Um, but as you can see, there is no access list in there right now. Right. So um, let me run through this uh, test play .yaml playbook for you real quick so you can kind of see what it looks like. Um, I have this set up for the other two devices in my rack. I have three catalyst switches right now. Uh, two of them are 3550s, one's a 3560. So what this is here is saying Ansible playbook dash I for inventory. We're telling it to use what's in the hosts file and we're telling it to run the test play playbook here. So as you can see, it's running through it. Uh, green means it's working, so that's good. So this playbook actually is gonna run the show version command and then output that to the screen. And then it's gonna test to see if the access list is installed, the access list named test. Uh, if it doesn't find it, it will go ahead and install it. If it does find it, it won't do anything. So you can see kind of what this looks like here. You can see the version, it's, uh, it's outputting, kind of showing us what iOS version it's running, uh, what the device is. So as you can see, like, so here's a 3550 running IP services, K9, 12.2. So that could come in handy, right? So if you have to inventory your entire network instead of logging into them one at a time, which I know there's some companies out there that would actually do that, um, you could, you know, just put them all in the host file, run that, and it will show you uh, the version on every single device. Now, as you can see, uh, the extended IP access list test was found on both of these because I've ran this playbook on them before. Um, so what we're going to do is add .15 to the host file. And we're going to use vim for that here real quick, vim. All right, so this is how I have the host file set up right now. I've been experimenting with a lot of different kind of ways to set it up. Um, but yeah, so iOS is actually the group that we have it in. So we'll add .15 in there. We'll save. And let's just hit up here and let's rerun that playbook again. Um, but now it's going to run it on all three devices instead of just those two. Uh, so again, Ansible playbook uh, for inventory, we're using the host file and we are running the playbook that I uh, saved in there as testplay.yaml. So let's run that. I'm just going to hit enter here. Okay, so now you can see all three devices. Um, it's actually running them on there. So now you can see show version. We saw that 3560 show up. That's actually the .15 router. Uh, there you can see it did not find the access list named test. Uh, so it's actually going to be adding it. Okay, so let's look on router one here. Let's do show run again. And scroll down to the bottom. Bam, there it is. IP access list extended test. Permit IP host 1.1.1.1 any. Deny IP any any. So it just added that access list as well as uh, outputting the information from the show version command. So just kind of two simple steps you can do in there and just showing a command and then adding a, uh, an access list. Now you can kind of see where that could go. If I had a hundred IP addresses in that host file, I could add that access list as well as get the uh, information from show version on all 100 of those devices uh, very quickly. Uh, as fast as I can kind of type them into that host folder, they'll be in there, right? So if you have them saved, uh, or, you know, as you progress, they should really already be in your host folder. Um, and you can create different groups, right? So if you had different pops, you could 
create a group for one pop, create a group for a second pop, and then you could, hey, we want to add this access list, but we only want to add it to this hop or you know to this pop in Philadelphia. Okay, so I just alter my playbook and uh, run it um, on only the uh, Philadelphia group of hosts. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what I've been experimenting with, and and you know hopefully you guys will tune in for more videos.